Yo, what up guys, it's your boy Legendary here, and today, people, we are here to do another deck profile, my second deck profile of 2024. Uh, today is going to be the updated, upgraded uh, Jack Atlas deck profile, the Red Dragon Archfiend uh, deck profile. I have that up on the channel from a while back, but this is the updated one. The new structure deck came out, I believe it was last summer, so I'm very late on this. Uh, and now I'm finally here to uh, showcase the new support in Jack Stack. So I'm gonna show you uh, the build and everything. So I'm really hyped up for this. The king is here. I wanted to have a new dual mat for this, but um, there were some other ones I needed to buy, and you know I need to be um, careful with how much money I'm spending on these things. So I decided to uh, not get a new mat for Jack Atlas just yet. I'll get another one, a nice crisper new picture, new monsters placed and everything. I'll get that all done later. But anyway, we're gonna hop right into the deck profile. Let's see what upgrades the King Jack Atlas has gotten here. All right, so first up, we're gonna go with the tuners. I'm gonna start with the level three tuners. Uh, we got the original Dark Resignator, obviously. We have Clock Resignator. Uh, Dark Resignator 2.0 Then we have Creation Resignator Next we have the new support card Soul Resignator This card is incredible, it's an amazing starter It allows you to search a level 4 lower fiend from your deck uh, And summon it, which will allow you to search for the new Bone Arch Fiend Which we'll get into later And and with this card with that, that other card uh, Bone Arch Fiend is basically a 1 card uh, Red Dragon Arch Fiend right away so it's it's incredible. This card is good, and it allows you to also, I believe, search a Red Dragon Arch Fiend spell or trap card. Actually, no, I was wrong about that. That's actually the, the the other new Resignator support card. We'll get into that in a second. But this card gives a, I believe, protection uh, for the Red Dragon Arch Fiend uh, monsters and his evolutions as well. So that's really good. It's awesome right there. Then we have uh, the old classic Crimson Resignator. Still an incredibly amazing card. You draw this in any level 4 and you instantly have Red Rising and then go into... Uh, you could actually go into Red Dragon Archfiend or Red Nova Dragon. Uh, well, not Red Nova. Super no Red Super Nova Dragon. Whatever his name is. All right. And next we have uh, Vision Resonator. So this card is also really cool. Um, it special summons itself when you have a level 5 or higher and when you... Send it to the graveyard, I believe, is Synchro Material. You get to search a Red Dragon Archfiend spell or trap from your deck to your hand. So, And this is really cool. It's a cool reference to Carly right there because it looks like a fortune lady, which is awesome. Uh, and so, yeah, it's really cool stuff right there. Then we have Chain Resignator right here for the level 1s. Mirror Resignator right there. And then we also have Synchron Resignator. So those are all the Resignators, 9 Resignators in total, a lot of them. Uh, you're going to need a lot of them. And... Uh, all these resignators power up your Scar Red Nova Dragon and your Scar Red Super Nova Dragon as well. So yeah, those are all the resignators right there. And then the final tuner will be uh, Majestic Dragon. That's going to be the final tuner of the deck. So that's 10 tuners in total. Alright, so now that we're done with the tuners, we're going to get into the non-tuners. So for the non-tuners, it's very simple, straightforward, very similar to, the, to I believe, the old deck list. Uh, which is just going to be a bunch of level 4 fiends. That's all we really need is just level 4 fiends um, to match up with the new resignator support. It makes it a lot easier. Right here we have our Red Familiar. That's the first one. You guys already know him. Bone Arch Fiend. He's incredible. He can special summon himself from the hand by sending another card from your hand to the from the field to the graveyard. He's a level 4. And then you could target, I believe, another monster on the field and increase or decrease his level by 1. So you can make him level 5 and then go... Um, use Soul Resignator Synchro Summon for, for the new Red Dragon Archfiend and, and whatever else you need. So yeah, he's really amazing. He's really good. He helps out a lot. That's This is the main guy you're going to be searching with Soul Resignator all the time, if you can. <laughs> if you get it. And then we have Mad Archfiend, we have Lancer Archfiend, we have Vice Berserker, we have Ogre of the Scarlet Sorrow and uh, Power Breaker. So yeah, these are all the level 4 fiends in the deck. So you're going to need a lot of them because you want to make sure you top deck at least one of them in the first turn or first two turns uh, along with your Resignator so that you can start Synchro Summoning almost immediately uh, right there. So yeah, you're definitely going to need those right there. And then for the non-level 4 fiends, we still have the classic old Vice Dragon right here. We have Power Giant. And then um, for a hand trap, we have Battle Fader right there. And then for the final monster, we have Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode uh, right there. Like I said, it's a Red Dragon Archfiend uh, focused deck, so we're going to add Assault Mode in there as well, which is really awesome. So we got Assault Mode uh, right there. 
Alright, so now we're going to get into the spell card. So for the spell card, it's going to be basically Resignator support, Fiend support, and Red Dragon Archfiend support. Uh, that's all it is. Finally, Jack has a lot of really good spells. One, one of the flaws with Jack's deck, because he did a lot of speed duels, is he didn't have a lot of spell cards. Or rather, I should say, yeah, he didn't have a lot of spell cards and he didn't have a lot of good ones. So most of the time, you just filled the deck with a bunch of monsters and traps and just kind of stall out, you know, until you get all your pieces. But now, he has a lot more... Uh, a lot more spell cards. He has a lot of searching in this deck now. This deck is super consistent, um, way more consistent than it ever used to be. So Jack finally got the upgrade that he needed. He needed a lot of search power, uh, protection, and a bunch of other stuff. So this is really good. So let's just get into the spell cards. We obviously have Resignator Call right there. Then we have Resignator Command, another search card right there for a Resignator or level four lower fiend. So that's really awesome right there. And it's a quick play, which is really cool. Um, and then we have Resignator Engine as well as a Resignator support. And then for the new support cards, uh, actually, before we get into those, let me get into Red Dragon Vase. The anime effect is better. You get to just draw two cards, but um, you like if you're going to use the TCG effect, I wouldn't even bother. I would probably just take this card out and tech it with something in the side deck or whatever else um, that you want that Jack owns. Because this card has such a bad secondary restriction because it basically means you can't summon anything else during the turn you activate this. So it's very annoying. So you can't activate it on the turn that you first summon it because you already summoned uh, Red Dragon Archfiend on that turn so you can't draw two. And then on top of that, uh, even if you have it on the following turn, you, you can draw the two but then you won't be able to do anything, not even for the rest of the turn, but for the whole turn in general. So this card has so many restrictions for no reason. It makes no sense. Red Dragon Archfiend is not even good. They should have made his pot of greed a lot better than that. Just take away the restriction, honestly. Just draw two of you, uh, control Red Dragon Archfiend, and then make it a, a hard ones per turn. That's all they had to do, but yeah, they, they completely destroyed that. And then we have Scarlet Security to destroy back row if you control your ace. And then finally, for the new support cards here, yeah, we have... Uh, the continuous spell card Crimson Guy. This card is absolutely incredible, allowing you to add a Red Dragon Archfiend um, from your deck or graveyard to your hand, or a card that mentions it. So, a Red Dragon Archfiend card, which is incredible. And then also, this really helps out your Red Dragon Archfiend activate his effect because when your Red Dragon Archfiend attacks, uh, it can switch all your opponent's monsters to defense position. Oh. Sorry about that. Yeah, it can switch all your opponent's monsters to defense position, which will trigger Red Dragon Archfiend's effects to destroy all defense position monsters. This is incredible. This is exactly what I wanted for Jack, a card that helps you activate the effects of Red Dragon Archfiend, because most of the time you're not facing any defense position monsters. So having a continuous spell that stays on the field that just allows you to, every time he attacks, switch everything to the fence so he can pop the whole field is, is really incredible. I actually love this card a lot. It's exactly what I would have created as a custom card um, for him. So thank you, Konami, for making exactly what Red Dragon Archfiend needed to pop off with his original effect. And then on top of that, this card also revives Red Dragon Archfiend from the graveyard uh, by sending it to the graveyard. So it's just incredible. Everything about it is incredible. Uh, and then we have the Quick Play spell card, Absolute Power Force, right here. This card's incredible. This is a play on um, Scrap Fist, which they made for Yusei's uh, Junk Warrior. And this is Absolute Power Force, his signature move, and it's a Quick Play. It basically just gives him uh, a bunch of attack. It gives him a thousand attack. Your opponent can activate cards or effects. It does piercing damage and... Any battle damage is doubled, so this is basically a, an instant OTK card because your opponent can't do anything, and he can pierce through everything. He gains a thousand. So if you you know attack a really weak monster, if you combo this with Crimson Gaia, um, I believe you'll switch everything to defense. Then you can pierce through and then do double damage, double piercing damage. So it's just broken. It's really good. It's really good. I'm so happy he has a really powerful signature card. Jack finally got a win. Finally got a win. Uh, with, with all this new support. And then uh, Synchro Rumble, this did not come in the structure deck, uh, but this is a new card that kind of came out um, that's supposed to be kind of like Crimson Dragon support. Uh, so for, for the Signer Dragons and stuff like that, so this works with all the Signer Dragons, but it's cool because, you know, Scar um, Red Dragon Archfiend is actually in the artwork, which is really awesome. But yeah, this is Crimson Dragon support, but it works in here uh, in Jack's deck as well, so I added it in there. Uh, so pretty much all the Signers could use this card. Uh, so, um, yeah, so that's Synchro Rumble right there. This basically allows you to revive one of your Signer Dragons from the graveyard. 
and then also gives them protection on the field as well. So that's really cool. So then we have uh, the Quick Play spell card, Burning Soul. So this is actually technically a manga card. This was used in the manga. But what's interesting about this card is that it's a manga card that's a reference to the anime. So this is actually a reference to uh, the the lore of... of the not, not the lore of the Crimson Dragon himself, but uh, Jack's past life. So this is an anime reference uh, to his burning soul power that Jack has. Uh, this is his ancient ancestor and whatnot. So this is a manga card that has an anime reference, so it's kind of like in between both. So if you don't want to add it, that's perfectly fine. I added it. It's called Burning Soul. His catchphrase is Burning Soul, so it just made sense to add it in here. And like I said, the picture is a direct anime reference, so there you go. Uh, and then for the trap cards, we have Red Carpet, uh, we have Red Cocoon, basically all Red Dragon Archfiend support right there, um, and Resignator support, Red Screen right there, and then we have Red Rain from the last sub wave of support, and then uh, for the new wave of support, we have the continuous trap card, Red Zone. This is really cool because whenever your opponent pretty much activates anything while you control your ace or an evolution of your ace, you get to just pop any card on the field, which is awesome. And then you can also bring back a banished uh, Dark Synchro, Dark Dragon Synchro monster. So basically, your Red Dragon Archfiend monsters. Uh, and then we have Time to Stand Up. This card is uh, created to kind of help you go into your uh, Scar Red Nova Dragon. So this card helps out with that. Um, then we have Assault Mode Activate for Assault Mode. Then we have Fiendish Golem. This card is really cool because it allows you to uh, not only banish a monster with 2,000 or more attack, but then allows you to set Fiendish Chain directly from your deck to the field. So you basically get kind of two negates or two stops, which is really awesome combination. So yeah, Fiendish Chain is the other card, and then the final trap is Powerful Rebirth. All right, so now for the extra deck. For the extra deck, it's very straightforward. There's not a huge extra deck because he doesn't have a lot, but he got um, he got some cool stuff. Some cool stuff. So yeah, we have Red Rising Dragon right here. This card just instantly helps you get into your Red Dragon Archfiend or your Red um, Scar Red Supernova Dragon, whatever, man. Yeah, go into him. He's card. This card's incredible. This is pretty much the guy you'll go into most of the time to start off with, if you can. Or if not, you'll go into the new support card called Scarred Dragon Archfiend or Red Dragon or Scar Red Dragon Archfiend. I forget. Red Dragon Red Demon's Dragon from the. Uh, sorry, I don't know the Jap name. Whatever. Uh, but either way, we got this here. This this is just Red Dragon Archfiend uh, with like the power of the Crimson Dragon around it, which is really cool. This card's also just incredible. This card basically just says when it's sent to the graveyard, uh, so it could be through synchro material or if it's just destroyed, if it's just sent to the graveyard, you can bring out uh, the original Red Dragon Archfiend right here, bring it out from your extra deck onto the field, and then just destroy all attack resistant monsters your opponent controls. So that's just crazy. You just get to bring out your ace and then pop everything. So this also works, like I said, if you use it as synchro material. So you can synchro summon this and then go for your... Uh, uh, use this as synchro material for, let's say, your Scar Red Nova Dragon or your Red Nova Dragon, whatever. Uh, and then you bring out your Red Nova Dragon and then pop all attack positions your monster your opponent control. So that's good. It clears the board and it summons your ace onto the field, which is incredible. So yeah, I love this card. It's so good. I, it's exactly what Jack needed. Some Just some power and aggression. He needed power and aggression. And, you know, his original Red Dragon Archfiend, this guy right here, just doesn't do a lot. So now with the Crimson guy at, and with this Synchro Monster, now, this, now his ace can actually just like pop off and do stuff, which is incredible. And then we have Majestic Red Dragon. We have Red Nova Dragon. We have Red Super Nova Dragon right here. Very nice. This card is actually... Uh, very strong, very busted, very good. Has a lot of attack power. Uh, he just does a lot of great stuff. And then we have Exploder Dragon Wing. We have Chaos King Archfiend and Crimson Blader. And those are all the synchro monsters for his deck. All right, so now for the side deck, I'm going to go through it quick. The side deck doesn't kind of matter all that too much. The main deck is already really solid. But if you want a side deck, here you go. We got Flare Resignator. We got Force Resignator. We got Barrier Resignator. We got Red Nova right there. Uh, we have Power Invader, we have uh, Twin Sword Marauder, and we have Dark Bug. And that's that's it for the monsters. And then for the spells, we have uh, Resonant Destruction, another Resonant Support. We have Double Summon, we have Desynchro, uh, Crimson Fire, the Counter Trap. We have Descending Lost Star, Synchro Deflector, Shadow Spell, and Half or Nothing. So you guys can play around. You could also add whatever, whatever other 
jack spells or traps or monsters that you want to add to the side deck is irrelevant right there the main deck is already really solid so you don't really need to worry about anything you can mess around with the ratios however you want don't worry about it do whatever you want uh, just have fun with it but yeah that is jack atlas's deck right there we have everyone's king i got the jack token right there looking crisp there you go he is a human with 3,000 attack, 2,500 defense, the stats of Red Dragon Archfiend. A foolish king once forsook his land and friends, but his scarred soul was saved by a compassionate heart. He who has determined to live his own destiny shall save the world and become the true king, giver of happiness and loved by all. So a beautiful, beautiful quote by King the Jack, surrounded by children who love him and adore him. Um, and whatnot. So yeah, we have the king right there, the King Jack Atlas. So that is the updated uh, deck profile for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed um, watching that. Test out the deck. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot stronger. He can actually compete with Yusei now, even with some of the new support. Uh, according to Robbie, he's tested these out, and uh, now he could actually fight against Yusei and possibly hold his own and even win against him because this new support. Um, was incredible. The, the the old support he got was decent, but this support just shot it through the moon. It, it was incredible, and it made his deck so much more consistent, faster, more aggressive, more defensive, um, and and more consistent in every way. So yeah, the new support's incredible. Great job, Konami. Um, I love it so much. It was it was incredible support. So this is Jack Atlas's um, Red Dragon Archfiend Turbo Anime deck. Uh, this is TCG. So there's no anime cards in here at all so you can build this in real life you can build this in master duel once we get the cards you can build this in dueling book um and, and whatnot so you can do whatever you want you can go into the link in the description as well and i will have a link in the description that uh has this exact deck um that you can download into a dueling book so if you want to test it out in dueling book the exact same way it's built uh, i will have the link in the description for you guys to download it and test it out but anyway, I'm done, guys. God bless you guys. I will see you guys in the next deck profile. M many deck profiles coming very soon. I got Yubel. I got Nosh. I got, you know, Yugi Moto GX. I got Kaiba GX. I got um, uh, Blue Maiden, Blue Angel. I have a bunch of stuff coming up. I'm working on a lot of cool stuff. But I'm excited to show you guys this deck. I love you guys. God bless you guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Gotcha. Peace. See ya.